Time for another what sold on eBay this week. Uh, once again, another very great week. Um, as you can tell by all the tabs open, I actually am pretty sure I'm gonna have to close a couple of these here. Um, because I had a big order come in, and that's what this is at the end. All of the all of the things that came in on the big order. So, starting off from last week, um, I didn't have or uh, I don't have it open, but the Detroit police, the Detroit SWAT one that I figured the buyer was never going to pay, that that ding, did ring true. Um, I canceled it, canceled the order as soon as I could, and I didn't relist it. Actually, I have it sitting around here somewhere. Uh, I am thinking about uh, keeping it for myself, but I may uh, relist it. I have to find it again. I, don't even, I actually don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. It is on my desk. I got crap everywhere, as per usual. Uh, two big lots have come in, so there's. I'm doing two big, massive, you know, 200 plus patches, patch, patches lots. Um, so I got uh, things everywhere, and then I'm working on the stuff, the dumpster stuff from last week as well. Uh, I haven't listed any of that yet. I still have. Um, I did have some photos taken of some of the stuff. Uh, but I don't, it's not all, uh, listed, and I was doing a little bit of research on a couple things still, uh, but I'll get to it here. But well, starting off on the sales, we got this Oklahoma Department of Corrections, five ninety nine on that one. Everton, Indiana, Volunteer Fire Department, six ninety nine on that one. Indian River County, Florida, Fire, six ninety nine on that one. Kelsko, Washington, Police, three ninety nine on that one. As you can see, this one's in very rough shape. Uh, still got three ninety nine out of it. Uh, FDNY, three and a half inch uh, patch, three ninety nine on that one. Um, the, as you can see, I kind of put on the back the little 3.5 so I would remember. Uh, there was a couple different FDNY ones that came in this one lot, and there was, of course, there was three different sizes. Uh, like three different sizes and four or five different varieties, so I had, a, had to make sure I was very specific so I'd remember and not send out the wrong thing. Uh, next we got the Syracuse University Ambulance. Uh, 40th anniversary patch. I've had this before uh, as well. Uh, si this was uh, 629 on this one. This sold at 10% uh, off uh, offer. And actually, I'm pretty sure, yes, I literally uh, typed this in, went into sold comps, and then did sol sell similar of my own, uh, my own comp because I knew I had sold one not that long ago. Uh, Texas Department of Health uh, EMT paramedic. This sold for 5 Oh nine. And then this Florida paramedic, uh, as you can see, I had two of them. I ha I have had a bunch of these. Uh, f this one sold for four twenty four. This sold uh ten percent offer as well. Uh, same with this one. I think it was ten percent, fifteen percent, whatever percent. Um, so next is this, uh these next five here. This Blooming Grove, Tri Creek, Empress, uh, Bamberg. And Sloper, whatever, Sloper Willen, all sold to the same buyer. Uh, one of these sold at five, I think, yes, this Tri Creek sold for 539 Uh, sold on offer. This went to my friend, uh, in Great Britain, who's ordered from me before. He, uh, sent me a message again, uh, saying he wanted these five, and I, uh, set, put them, uh, when in the because I have to go in there and change it to allow international uh, buying, so I went in there, changed it for him, and uh, sent it off. And uh, this is on its way to him. It's in Philly right now, uh, going through the because I sh uh, ship international doing the eBay international standard delivery, so it goes to Philadelphia, where it's then sent uh, over to Great Britain. So. And this time I did charge him the appropriate amount of shipping. It doesn't show on these, um, which it should, but I did charge uh, him the correct shipping. I'm like, or I short, did it shorted a little. I did 250 when I think it's about 270 a piece is what it needed to be. So I ate a little bit of the shipping cost for him, but I uh, definitely was not making that mistake again. And he paid too, gladly paid, no questions asked. So that was definitely a very expensive order for him, uh, paying 
you know, the price, $14 shipping, plus the VAT tax and all that. But uh, he will be uh, very happy, that's for sure, I know, when that gets uh, does end up getting to him. Next, Orleans Parish, Parish Sheriff, uh, the subdued version of the patch, six ninety nine on that one. Riverside County Sheriff, California, six ninety nine on this one. This, I want to say, was out of that new lot of California stuff, like used a lot of California's patches that came in. I did list, start listing a couple of those. Um, so there's a couple of them that did end up selling. Uh, next, this is Princeton Fire Engine 1, 1794 patch. This sold 10% off, 539 Um, I first got a message on this about a guy asking, um, if it was for, like, Princeton, New Jersey, or a different Princeton. Uh, I tried doing a little more research again. I can't find, I can't even find this patch, so I, you know, I wasn't, I couldn't tell him where it was from, because I can't find, uh, similar of this patch at all. Uh, but I seen it when I was going through and sent it out my offers. Um, I sent it out and he took it, so... Works for me. Uh, International Association of Fire Chiefs. Uh, this sold three fifty nine. Uh, ten percent off. So three fifty nine. And there was another one coming up here as well that sold to the uh, same buyer but not at the same time. Uh, here's another FDNY one four ninety nine on that one. You'll see a couple FDNYs in here. Uh, next is these two. Um, is these two Nassau County police canines. As you can see, the dogs on them were slightly different, so I made it to the two separate listings. Um, both sold for six ninety nine instantly, and this sold within an hour, uh, probably, of me listing them. So both to the same buyer. Uh, I think it was also here in New York. Uh, Eastville, Virginia, fire department, volunteer fire department, five ninety nine on that one. Uh, station 17. I'm pretty sure I have one like this or have sold one before. Um, I don't remember if I actually found it when I was going through, but I do know I've uh, sold that one before. That, that's not new. Uh, Roseville, Michigan, Fire. This one sold for 509 This went to the same buyer as the um, International Association. I uh, almost didn't notice that it went to the same person, so it almost got shipped out in two separate envelopes. But I did, uh, but I didn't end up noticing, and, duh, so I got to keep the shipping on that one. Alright, so EMT, uh, for Commonwealth of Virginia, five ninety nine on this one. I have a couple of these, I'm pretty sure. I have ones that I don't even know where they came from. I have one on my desk right now that, uh, I'm pretty sure I, when I was going through and consolidating, consolidating, it didn't have a custom, for the custom SKU, it didn't have anything listed. So I don't even know where it came from. So I, I did take the listing down uh, until I can be bothered to figure out where those... Uh, there was a couple of patches like that where there was no custom... And this custom skew, I didn't have anything. So I don't even know... I don't even know where those patches are. So luckily none of those have ever sold. Or otherwise I, I definitely would have had to go through everything to find them. Uh, next is Suffolk County Fire Training School. Graduate patch. It sold for five fifty nine, so I think twenty percent or fifteen percent off, whatever. Uh, this I accidentally almost uh, didn't take the listing down and threw in for the auction. Uh, luckily, I noticed because it had some watchers on it, so I didn't take it down, and I kept it up and sent out an offer. And luckily, someone did end up taking it. So, uh, but like I said, I almost accidentally listed. Threw this in the auction with having it still listed, uh, but I did go through everything and made sure, made sure everything, uh, the individual listings were all taken down. I did make sure of that. Uh, Bedford Park, Illinois, three ninety nine, and that one as you can see, another one that's not in that great of shape. Oh, uh, and I actually didn't even notice it doesn't say police on it. It just is the village of Bedford Park. Uh, didn't even notice that, but didn't matter as you can see, still sold. Uh, here we go, FDNY, once again, this one had, uh, the golden edge, yellow, golden, whatever, uh, so, four ninety nine on that one, FDNY, four ninety nine all day long, NYPD, six ninety nine all day long, uh, those are definitely very, usually very fast sellers, I usually can get 
Uh, I'd say definitely a couple weeks, usually, if not instantly, as there is a lot of other competition on that, and there is another bigger seller that there's this um, that has this as one of their main listings, the four ninety nine dollar. But I still sell plenty of FDNY. Still sells very well. Uh, next is a uh, Tomlinson, Georgia. Police five ninety nine on that one. This one we'll see if I end up having a problem. Um, this is a seller or the seller buyer has zero feedback, like brand new account. One of those I've gotten hit with those multiple times this week. Um, the Detroit one that was a zero, uh, zero, zero feedback. This one zero feedback. You'll see another one here uh, coming up later. Zero feedback as well. Brand new accounts or one of them wasn't really a brand new account, but it's had had no activity on it since it was made. But, uh, uh, Schenectady, K9, 799 on this one. This also went to Schenectady. Uh, uh, this came with the two Nassau ones in a little small K9 lot that I showed you that had the West Seneca one that I wanted. So I uh, sold these ones off. So this was the rest of the, the, uh, the couple other K9 ones. There's still a couple out of that, uh, lot, but nothing, nothing big. Uh, Kodak Park. Uh, for the Kodak plant in, in Rochester, this one sold on offer for seven nineteen. Oh, and actually, I just noticed looking at my cheat sheet, uh, this Gold Edge FDNY sold for four forty nine, not four ninety nine. Uh, this one, uh, Ryan and Paul, uh, this is going. This is headed your way in uh, a couple towns over. I want to say, but it was in that your general direction. And actually, looking at the guy's profile. He kind of likes playing around with two-way radios, so he might be a buyer for those radios, the two-way radios that I found uh, that came out of the dumpster. So uh, once I get those listed, maybe he'll end up buying them. We'll definitely see. That'll be that'll be cool if he does end up buying it. Uh, next, we got in Los Angeles. As you can see, I forgot to put police. Uh, patch four ninety nine on that one, or maybe that's why. Uh, cause I know for a while, there was a couple times where I wanted to list Los Angeles things, but it wouldn't let me, um, it like automatically flagged it as not allowed, uh, so I couldn't list them, but then, uh, I think when I got these ones, I decided to try it again, and it went through, uh, so that was good. Uh, next, here's the other one with zero feedback, this one was on offer, 449, uh, on offer, like I said, zero feedback, hasn't paid me yet, I'm not expecting that they will pay me, uh, you can see the start of the third, but I want to say it was maybe two days ago that this, um, they actually accepted it, so I think it's four days you have to wait before you can cancel, um, I definitely am going to have to go back into, uh, go into my settings and block anyone that has zero feedback, because this is definitely getting annoying. Uh, it's getting annoying. So I have to, I have to remember to do that. Uh, next is this West Hampton Beach Fire Marshal. eight ninety nine on that one. Here we go. <laughs> Another FDNY one. Uh, this one was an Irish one. So I got an extra buck out of it. five ninety nine. dollars And as you can see, August 1st. Uh, and it sold this week. So actually this didn't take that long at all to sell. Uh, Clayton County, Georgia Police, four ninety nine in this one. This came out of that new lot of California stuff. I actually have two of them. Um, out of that California lot, there was a lot of duplicates in there, but a lot of them were in varying condition, so I kind of have to make, keep making individual listings for them. I can't just make it a quantity of two. Um, so that's definitely annoying. And those actually are on the back burner now that I got in a different lot uh, this week that I'll show you uh, here at some point. Uh, Albany, Oregon, Fire Rescue, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, Town of Windsor, California Police, like I said, out of the, uh, out of the new California stuff, five ninety nine on that one. <laughs> Another FDNY one, uh, four ninety nine on that one. Uh, we're getting into stuff now that just sold uh, today that I have to find and uh, pack still. Oh, I need a drink. Uh, Macedon Fire Department, Wayne County, New York, five ninety nine. This one, this one, I'm gonna have to go looking for. 
I don't have a skew on it, but I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So we'll see. Uh, New York City Transit Police, seven ninety nine on this one. This one's not at... Uh, this one won't be that good, because I know the lot came out of... I paid up for for the one patch, uh, so that one's not that great. Uh, Orange County, Florida Sheriff's Office, uh, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, Boston, Massachusetts, Ladder 21, four ninety nine on that one. Uh, great. This is another one where I didn't disclose the smell to it, because that's, that's out of that lot of 70, uh, that I, ca I called a lot of 70 that had that mold smell to them. Oh, and actually, those new California ones kind of have a bit of a hint of that mold mildew kind of smell to them as well. So that really, really is a annoying me and also another reason why i kind of have them on the back burner i do have some in a bag with the dryer sheet we'll kind of see if that helps uh kill the smell uh pompeo beach florida police 4.99 on that one uh oh and that uh now what we're getting into is another big lot or a big purchase that i um uh, Big purchase that happened from one person, uh, typically, uh, like with this case, a lot of times is they'll go, th you know, they'll start watch them, I'll send out my offers of 10, 15% off, these ones I think was 15%, or might have been 10, I send out my offers, they take a bunch, you know, so there's like, you know, six or seven of them together, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to bring it back, because I ran out of, um, uh, available tabs to have open, and there's... Uh, more where this came from. Uh, so, Northeast PA, uh, FGNY Uniformed Firefighters Association, Firehouse 2003, Firehouse 2004, um, uh, Roxbury, New York, uh, Corning, New York, uh, there's a bunch of different New York ones in here as well, uh, that was part of this order. So, I'm going to bring you guys back here in a minute. So I can get the rest of the tabs open that I want. And we will... I'll get into the, the rest of this order. Alright, so this... Uh, we left off here at Corning. Uh, so this Pulteney, New York. Uh, Hammond Support. New York, uh, Sioux Falls. Uh, Putnam County. Volunteer Firemen's Association. And North Queensbury on Lake George. Uh, these were the... Those were... Um, that's the last of what's old. On that big, on that big buy from the one guy that was going, that's going, staying in New York actually is going down to Binghamton. That was picked up this morning. I almost forgot about it uh, until I looked over at my shelf where I keep this, uh, where I keep my sold envelopes that uh, are ready to go out. Uh, luckily, I remembered it, so I just put it out there and uh, mailman, mailman took it. Usually, I like to do the scheduled pickup, but uh, he took it no problem. And it uh, dropped off, and then dropped off this box, uh, the box that had the these patches in it. Uh, but first, a couple uh, little inventory pickups I'll show you. Uh, I picked up this little lot of five to New York ones, although this Hampton one is not New York. Um, it's for Virginia, as you can see. Um, that was added in after I noticed. Uh, uh, Erie County Sheriff's, uh, Cat County Sheriff's, Buffalo Police, uh, the airport, Buffalo Niagara International Airport, uh, firefighting, fire department, uh, and that's actually why I did end up deciding to pick up this lot, uh, is because this is the subdued version, I have the color, uh, version, so I wanted to, uh, pick it up, and then Cat County, Erie County Sheriff's, and, uh, Buffalo Police are all ones I already have, I'll just, uh, sell them off, no big deal. Uh, we'll get to this in a minute, uh, this chili... Uh, over in Rochester, Rochester area of Monroe County. Uh, as you can see, these three are all very similar, but, uh, and then these two are doubles as well. I kept three, I kept three out of here, sold the other three off. Uh, and that, uh, that'll just be that on that. Nothing special on those. Although I did, I'm now looking at, I just got ripped, I got kind of ripped off on shipping. 530 definitely did not cost anywhere near that. That was probably a three. 40 uh, for shipping on that one. Uh, here's a California one. I don't know if I showed you guys last week. I don't think I did. 
Uh, this is what it was listed for. I got sent an offer of 150 and took it. Uh, and as you can see, a very huge mixture of uh, police, a little bit of fire. But I will say, this: these Memphis, Tennessee Division of Fire, I have so many of them. There are so many. I have a stack of them. Uh, but as you can see, it's got police, sheriff. It's got police and fire, a little bit of military in it as well. Uh, that'll probably lot up and get rid of. Uh, but I'm trying to think of, like, off the top, this Garden Grove. There's a couple of those in there. National City, Salt Lake City. Um, the Tennessee ones, the San Ramon. Detroit Police, Evidence Tech, there's three of those in there. There's the Clayton County ones right there under the Garden Grove. Um, uh, Memphis Police, those little Memphis Police ones, I have a stack of those as well, there were so many in there. Orange County, there's three or four in there. So like I said, there's a lot of duplicates in here. Uh, which it kind of didn't mention that there's a ton of, uh, duplicates. And like I said earlier, they're all in varying conditions, so I have to really go through those, but... Uh, this is what came in today, and I'm very excited for... Uh, where is it? Right here. This, uh, Emerald Society Buffalo Police. That's what really got me interested in this lot. Uh, so I was watching it, and then I got sent... Uh, a couple days later, I got sent the offer of 350 350 free shipping. No-brainer. Had what I really wanted in there, and it's 190-plus patches. So, this was a no-brainer. And I took it instantly and uh, paid for it, and the guy sent me a message too. He said he'll have it in the post office in the next hour, which he did. Um, so, and then it got, which is how it, and that was Friday, and that's how it got to me. Uh, and it got to me today. Uh, and also, very interesting, is it got sent in a very old priority mailbox from 2004. Uh, is the priority mailbox that it got sent in. And, I haven't actually counted how many patches are in here. I see it says 190 plus. Um, and it's also got these two very large New York ones, this giant New York State Troopers one. This one's probably a, a 12, giant 12-inch 12 one. And then also this pretty cool New York one that's got some of the different counties or, uh, different departments on it. Like, right here on the very end is Hamburg, which is geographically placed, um, where it belongs. Some of these are not geographically correct, like the Webster, the Rochester, the Monroe County, um... Those are not where they belong. The NYPD is obviously not where it belongs. But that's just being picky. Um, and there's also some duplicates in here as well. I did know there was a big stack of Pennsylvania State Trooper ones. And these uh, first responder PA Department of Health ones in there. Uh, but there's a lot of duplicates of um, some of them. There's a couple of them. A couple of them have some duplicates to them. There's, um, there's also a couple bonuses in there. That are not in the photos. Um, so I definitely... Uh, I probably should actually count out how many is actually in there. But I do have the calculations of it. It's two do the patches each cost costed $2 a piece. Which is great. Uh, and will work great for resale. So the, this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, as these take higher priority. Because there's more money tied up in these ones. Compared to these California ones. And these will be much simpler. So... Um, that is it for the week. Um, oh, the lot of patches, um, doing my clear, uh, doing my consolidation. Uh, I got, it was about 150-ish, 150 like 57, 150 to 170 listings, somewhere around there. Um, those I do have listed, uh, no action really on them. The police one. A lot of 50 does have a couple watchers on it, but no, so far no actual bidders on it, which is not good. Uh, there's still three days left on those. We'll have to see what heck goes down on those. Hopefully they will sell. Uh, but it is very ironic that I was doing that consolidation and got rid of 170 listings. Uh, then I picked up 200, and then I just picked up another 200 <laughs> listings. So uh, that was very purpose-defeating, but... These are some better, uh, Im better fresh inventory, so that needed to happen. Alright, I've gone on long enough. You get the picture. 
a lot of good stuff to come. A lot of good sales to come this week, I'm sure, uh, out of here. And we'll just have to wait and see. So, we'll see you guys 